Monday was a day of extreme highs and lows for the family of Ralph Steinman as the biologist was awarded the Nobel Prize for Medicine along with two other scientists. Now the Nobel Committee actually had no idea Steinman had passed away last Friday after fighting cancer for years with the help of some of his own discovery. CBS's Terrell Brown has the story. Ralph Steinman spent his life fighting disease. Forty years ago, he discovered the dendritic cell, a key part of the immune system used in that fight. He spent 20 hours a day in the lab and decades trying to convince naysayers. When he discovered them, many, many people didn't believe him. And it was only through his own fortitude and his own strength that he really convinced the scientific community that these were important and a distinct entity. But four and a half years ago, a cloud fell over Steinman's life and work. He discovered he had pancreatic cancer with little chance of surviving beyond one year. Steinman's response was extraordinary. He decided to use his own scientific research in an attempt to extend his life. Dozens of scientists around the world pitched in to help. I feel like the word of the day seems to be bittersweet. Um, we are so elated and so proud of our father and also you know, at times I keep forgetting that he's actually not here anymore. On Monday, Steinman's family joined his colleagues at New York's Rockefeller University to honor his life and crowning achievement. So let's take this opportunity to celebrate uh, our dad's life uh, and this wonderful accomplishment. Uh, thank you all so much. The Nobel Committee broke with tradition by granting the award posthumously, allowing Steinman's family to receive his portion of a $1.5 million prize but his children are focusing on what this means for others. It's very sad that he's not here to enjoy this, um, but he probably frankly wouldn't celebrate for too long. <laughs> he'd, he'd tell everyone to, to get back to work moving the science It is forward. true, yeah. Um, and I think uh, that was really part of his humble nature. Um, he wanted uh, his work to help make the world a better place. And he stayed true to that, working in his lab until the last week of his life. Terrell Brown, CBS News, New York.